Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're playing Albatross by Fleetwood Mac. Grab an A harmonica and stick around. So in today's lesson, I'm going to give you the first minute or so of this great guitar instrumental, played on harmonica, of course, and you can get the full lesson as a premium download by following the link beneath the video if you want to learn the full song. Right now, I'm going to play you an example of the first section of the song, and then we're going to go through the tab bit by bit. Okay, that's the first section. So we are on an A harmonica playing in the key of E, so that's second position. But don't worry if that means nothing to you, we'll just go through the tab and uh, go through it note by note. So I'll try and pick up any important points as we go, express them to you as best as I can. So obviously it's a guitar instrumental. The notes are all there, but we're going to have to think a little bit about how to make it sound good and how to get the best out of it on harmonica. So we've got lines A to L to get through is kind of a repeat but but slight variation in there. So line A we've got So that is one draw and then I'm sliding up from a one blow to a four blow and then I'm doing a three four draw together and then I'm doing the slide up to the four and the three four draw together again. Okay? So if you want to really strip it down you don't need to do the slide up to the four and you you could just play a three draw instead of a three and a four so you could go but I'm assuming you would agree that it sounds a bit cooler if you've got and this is what I mean when I say customizing it to suit the harmonica best so the guitar has its own benefits and own strengths. With harmonica, one of the great things we can do is add textures by bending notes, by adding extra notes in and by sliding up notes. So it just gives it that little bit more than a single note. There's quite a lot of kind of echo and vibrato on the original, which kind of adds a lot to the depth of what he's doing. Now, you could use an amp and get some kind of vibrato and stuff like that, but short of that, it's quite nice to use uh, these sorts of techniques to fatten out the sound. So lines A and B are exactly the same like that. You might want to put some variation in terms of the first line you might want to just play the three draw, the second line play both of them, the three and the four, or you could even do a, a, a warble on the three and four draw. Check my lessons on warbles if you want to learn more about that. Uh, so, lines A and B are the same, and then line C... Really, really lovely melody. The whole thing is a lovely melody. It's a gorgeous song. Okay, so we've got one draw, two blow, two draw, two blow, two, uh, three draw, and then three draw full step bend. Ba 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 ba. Now, if you can't bend notes, you are really going to miss out not having that three draw full step bend. You can bend down to it if you're struggling to hit it straight off the bat. That will actually sound pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, you could even choose to do that. Okay. So then uh, line D. Two blow twice and then that three draw, three draw full step bend again. And then 
line E, two blow twice, then three draw full step bend, and then two draw. I've actually been choosing sometimes when playing this to play the three blow there. It's a really nice kind of um, way of balancing your air a little bit, and, and it doesn't affect the sound because it's not like you need to put lots of kind of vibrato or bend on that two draw, so you could. And then, three draw full step bend, two blow, and two draw. That's line F. So that full section, you've got... And, uh, of course, af after a commentator's curse, I told you I wasn't going to do vibrato on the two draw on the end of, line of, end of line E. And I did a load of vibrato, probably because it's a bit like saying, don't think of a yellow elephant, and then you think of one. It's probably on my mind. Um, so that's the first half of section one, lines A to F. Now, we've got almost a repeat. So G and H are the same as A and B. Again, you might want to think about how you want to put your own variation in, just so it isn't exactly the same every time. One thing I didn't mention is you could slide down to that one draw. You don't have to do then the slide up to the four. You could do both. You've got lots of different variations and combinations. When you start to look at the slight changes you can make, if you combine them all up together, you've got lots of different options. So lines G and H the same as A and B, and then we have uh, line I the same as line C. So again, a, a, a repeat. It changes here though. So line J, instead of line D, which was, we are finishing with the same two notes, three draw and three draw full step bend. But before that, We've got three, four draw, uh, three draw, four draw, five blow, and then the, the three draw and the three draw full step bend. Again, just really, really nice. Try it. You could try and put a bit, bit of vibrato on that three draw full step bend. I can't get my words out today. Um, or you could just play it as, as straight as possible. It's up to you. Remember, it's supposed to be slow and kind of melodic and almost haunting this, so uh, bear that in mind the whole time. It's not supposed to be kind of big and raunchy and dirty. Okay, so K and L just to go now. So we've got two blow, two draw, three draw full step bend, three draw, and then two draw. That's line K. And then line L. So three draw, full step bend, two blow, and then two draw just to finish. So that's the end of the first section of Albatross. Now I've done a full lesson on the whole of the song. I'll take you right to the end of it. I'm selling it as a premium download. So check the link below if you're interested in learning the whole song. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be back soon with another harmonica lesson. Please click like and subscribe to my channel as I put out free harmonica lessons every single week. Please also find me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. You can just search learntheharmonica.com on those social media platforms. Please put your comments beneath the video, any questions, any queries. I take requests, I try and do as many of your requests as possible, so do put those beneath the video as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.